Hello, this is Francis and welcome to Free Your Compass. Today I'd like to talk about the three layers of life. Essentially, this is a concept that I've had in mind for some time and then I heard somebody else speak about it in a manner that it kind of crystallizes, crystallized my thought processes on the matter. Basically, the idea being is that each one of us is born with a personality, a purpose, something that's true to us. Uh, in our lives and at some point within our life what tends to happen is we're convinced or told that that is not the right thing to do or that we should be pursuing something else. This is a very common thing for people and find that uh, you'll, you'll read it in books and stories, it's on television shows. You know, if you talk to people, they'll, they'll tell you in a very large portion of the population pursue a particular career because that's what they were told they should do or it was part of the family's way of doing it or, or, or whatever the reasonings. Or they were just told that this is the way to make money because the rest of it doesn't work. And the rest of it then comes where a lot of the motivational uh, society and business uh, gets its money from is then the pursuit of of growing and getting further and pushing yourself harder. Now, <clears throat> a common uh, element of the motivational industry is the idea that you move away from pain, move towards pleasure. Um, now, each of us has the, our own angst and our own pains, our own element that, that we're trying to move away from. Uh, and then this great lofty goal of what we believe we should be chasing. Now, where this idea of the three layers sort of crystallized for me is that the idea of like the midlife crisis and the mental breakdown is when you then collapse back within yourself and you wind up in this middle layer again where you sort of... Mm, sort of dredging around in all your emotions. You're trying to figure out who you are, the why. You do stupid stuff like throw chairs at windows and you know, go off on wild journeys and doing stupid stuff that if it wasn't for the midlife crisis or mental breakdown, you could never get away with under normal circumstances. <clears throat> the interesting thing with that is that when most people pull themselves back out of that, is that they've got a different viewpoint of what they really want to do and what they want to be. They've rediscovered themselves and they have a very strong tendency to head towards a much happier and more fulfilled life after that point. And a lot of that comes from the idea that essentially there's the truth of who you are then there's this messy pain where you then learn that this truth is something that you can't be. So you then fight and you struggle to become this other thing that is what you're supposed to be or what you can be. And that's this, this horrible, messy, murky, uh, confused section that we run away from. And then we spend the next portion of our lives basically running away from that messy middle bit and, you know, striving for this career, the money, the accolades and all the rest of it. Now, this, please, by no means means that any of this is actually the wrong move. And for some people, this is actually the right way to go. Some people just luck into it and it all works out and they go the right way. For some people to, you know, that that's right for them but the essence essence of what i'm getting at is that in general you go from the truth that is you to this i can't do that to all right now i have to find this pinnacle of success to make up for this feeling of emptiness that i have because i'm running away from something that is more truly me um <clears throat> This then ties into a lot of the ideas that I've had over my life in regards to, you know, 
what happens, what, you know, because we're all struggling to survive and make the most out of our lives, we spend less time wondering what it was that we should actually be doing, you know, what is, is it that's actually going to make me happy? Or is there a job there or a career that would genuinely suit me and just bring me joy doing it? You know, and there are people in those jobs. These things exist. You know, how many artists are there being lawyers and how many lawyers, you know, you know real lawyers are sweeping ditches because they can't do anything else. You know, they've wound up stuck doing something that's not what is for them or because the job isn't available because somebody else who's basically needs to survive is doing the job that would have actually been perfect for them. This then ties into a whole myriad of other conversations that I will end up uh, delving into uh, in multiple other talks. But it also really ties into a lot of the elements of depression and anxiety, the frustration with life, um, mental breakdowns and, and the rest. Um, the that complete loss, you know, the, the standard scenario, who am I is that great question. You know, we've been asking this question since we were born and that yearning to know, albeit not this resounding bell of a question that continuously asks, but that yearning seems to just gain strength as we get older. And part of that is because we've moved further and further away from that part that is us. So the trick ultimately then is how do you take that step back, look back upon yourself and your life, look within yourself and find that truth again without having the mental breakdown or the midlife crisis. You know, what are the ways of doing this? I know they exist. This is something else I will explore uh, because I'm going through it myself. Um, I think it's a fascinating topic and a fascinating concept that the idea that we spend a large portion of our lives pushing for this motivation to push ourselves further and further into the realms of success, finances and accolades. And what the real issue is, is that while we're chasing that down, we're actually not looking within and finding the person that we were meant to be and then running with that person to whatever it was that they should be. And that's why that stress level continues to go. And then you wind up at a snap point and it all falls to pieces. Hopefully this has all made a bit of sense to you and has given you a little bit of uh, pause for thought. Something to consider and realize that maybe chasing the almighty pie in the sky goal may not actually bring you the fulfillment that you're after. It might. But maybe there's something else that would bring it easier, would find it better. Maybe you need to stop looking outside and take a genuine, proper, deep look within to find out what it is that's really going to get you that success that you yearn for. We'll explore this later and... Thanks for listening this long. I'll catch you in the next one. <laughs>